Hello, everybody. Well, I've got something to say, and hopefully you guys will understand this. I've been having a lot of thoughts crossing my mind as of late, and, you know, it is true that currently I am the Battlestar Champion, and I'm very privileged to be the Battlestar Champion on Kyle Wheeler's play to win, and it's an amazing feeling going this long, and I've had an amazing streak, and when I go up against Chris Yarzabek this coming Friday, it's going to be a grudge match, I can feel it. But besides that, you know, I something I really cannot believe this far. Back in February 2008, I created my own account on Blog Talk Radio, and the following first Saturday in March, I started Game Show Temple Live. It may not have been a click at that point, but it was a stepping stone. I personally have to say that ever since it began, on that particular date, when I spoke about Split Second with Monty Hall with just the one caller, David Hammond, I had a feeling it was going to go somewhere. And it did. Originally, the sister show for Game Show Talk and Fun on Wednesday nights, which is now defunct, I have to say that my show has just been absolutely terrific to work with. And it has spawned off so many terrific other great blog talk radio shows. Like Play to Win, which was once um, Game Show Temple Live the Game Show. I also have heard of Rock That Game, which I've been a part of in the past, and I still try and tune into it every now and again. I also spawned off the Game Show Decathlon with Alan McSiggy, and also the Antonio Gray Show on Sunday nights. They've been really great creations. For shows and everything like that. I've been blessed as far as I know. I've been really, really happy with the entertainment that I've brought to people, just talking about discussions, also playing games and and everything like that. It's always brought a smile to my face, and most of the time it's brought a smile to others. There have been some cons, unfortunately. When I started hosting games, I used official games. I started with the 1994 edition of Trivial Pursuit, the game show, and they were actually game show questions. And, you know, I didn't, like, copy anything from the show. There was a game that was attached to that, and, you know, if you need proof, just look it up. But, um, you know, I also tried to use other official questions that were written before. But there have been times, how am I going to say this? There have been times when I've had to write my own questions. And, well, I remember so well that when I did the Blockbusters project, the gold run just backfired. And believe me, that was not an easy thing. Because I was using inside questions. If there's one thing that I do know, inside questions never work, except if they're just for the friends that you're making them for. That's one thing. Oh man, I don't know exactly how to explain that, but if you're making your own projects and if you're hosting your own games, be careful on your inside questions and who your target audience is. Your target audience, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm just blown over right now because I've just had an awkward night on Game Show Temple Lights and I'm playing Greed and the questions were a little too detailed and and there's actually a reason to this. I mean, I'm I'm not trying to make up excuses as I, as I go or anything like that, but if you ask if it's my Aspergers, then you can say that. You can definitely say that. But if there's one thing that I actually do know, writing your own questions is not an easy thing. Look at the game shows out there. They have writers, they have staff members who write out these questions and they want to be sure that the target audience just about knows anything, that they're educated on it. But then again, sometimes things just... <coughs> but, you know, I'll tell you something, being the host of Game Show Temple Live this long has just been a blessing. But there are some times when it just doesn't look that easy. There have been shows that 
had to be canceled and then I had to do something really quick to try and make a backup and sometimes those backups backfire but that's because I was not too prepared I've learned really quickly that you have to expect the unexpected an example of which when Brian Schwartz was supposed to do when Brian Schwartz's money which was a rendition of when Ben Stein's money he had to cancel out a couple times and there was one time when he didn't tell me until the afternoon before we were supposed to go on the air and he told me that by a text and I was like oh boy what am I gonna do so I so what I did I did a wheel of fortune game and there was some reception issues during the show but sometimes Blog Talk Radio, I mean, no matter what kind of technology you use, whether it's a laptop or a computer or a television or anything like that, sometimes technology has its chips. You have to be prepared for them, too. But in all honesty, I've been having a lot of thoughts about Game Show Temple Live as of late. I know that there are times when we have discussions in games when I just repeat exactly what I say, which is not necessary, but that's a side effect of the Asperger's, believe me. You'll have to look that up because Asperger's is a bit of a social disability and and everything like that. I get a hang of it most of the time, but yeah. okay, I just lost it again. You know, it's just it's just a matter of what to do. I've been doing Game Show Temple Live now for over four and a half years. I've been really pleased with the success that it has brought to the internet and although I've had my issues with it sometimes whether it be me or Blog Talk Radio those things happen sometimes so you just have to go with the flow or at least try to but as of late I've become a college student and I've been trying to zero in on my studies and because of that I didn't have enough time to write the questions for greed which was the game that we did tonight I am, um, in all honesty, I mean, I can understand the criticism that I received, and I actually agree with it. But sometimes some people ask, when is this going to end? I mean, not just, well, okay, what, am I, what I'm trying to say here, I'm not giving up Game Show Temple Live, not for a while, but, you know, College is more important to me. I have to set my priorities straight. I've always been praying for a path to get me down to set my priorities straight and everything like that. And I've always been praying for a job. I've always been praying about college. I've always prayed for anything to satisfy my life. And God finally put me on the path for college. And I had a test this past Thursday, and because of that, I was trying to study up for it. And that was the reason that I couldn't figure out the questions correctly. I really feel, you know, I'm disappointed in myself about that, but, you know, when you, when you set your priorities straight, that really does say something to you. So, if college gets to be a hassle, I'm just going to have to call the Saturday night off and just find a guest host to do something. I might not be available to watch the switchboard all the time, but it's just something, really. I know I keep looking off to the side a little bit, and I'm looking tired, too. But, folks, i got to be honest. I have to set my priorities straight. I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be doing my video games. I mean, yes, I'm still doing SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. I'm still doing F1 Pole Position. But there will be other games to follow, like um, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart. Then there's going to be Stunt Race FX and maybe a couple other games, too. I'll probably try and keep you updated on that. But in the meantime, I mean, although I, <laughs> although I still do the projects, Although I still do Game Show Temple Live, there will be times when I have to put them on break because college is more important. And a lot of other people know that because without good grades, what is that going to get you? Not far, believe me. So I have to zero in on my studies and I have to work hard. So 
If I have to call Saturday night off and ask for a guest host or anything like that, don't be surprised. It's mostly because of college work and everything like that. I will try to keep you guys updated as time goes by. You know, but you know, there will be times on Game Show Temple Live when I will lose myself, and that does happen sometimes. I'm, I'm trying to get a better hang of it. I'm, I'm trying to practice up a little bit, and but believe me, believe me, I've just been going through a lot of issues, especially with college, especially with a lot of other things too. But I don't want you to worry, guys. Somehow I will get this under control. Just keep praying for me, guys. Because some of these issues can get a little bit serious. And I pray that God helps me. I pray that somehow I get some help with whatever that I'm doing. And because there are some times when I just can't do this alone. I have to be honest about that. But like I said, if I have to call Saturday night off or anything like that, don't be surprised. It's just that I have to set my priorities straight. That's the main point. In either case, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you all understand exactly what I'm going through. I will try to keep you all updated as time goes by. Don't worry. You're still my fans. You're still my friends. You're still my followers. And I strive to entertain you guys, to bring you guys smiles, wherever you are, whether you're in a library, whether you're at home, whether you're at, um, wh wherever you are, I strive to keep a smile on everybody's faces. Sometimes I don't succeed. But like they say, if at first you don't succeed, try again. But believe me, I do my best not to let you guys down. I really do mean that. But in either case, I'm out. Take care, you guys.